So this time we're going to talk about digraphs and subgraphs. So first we're going to talk about digraphs and we're going to do it in Africa uh, with these animals. So the lion's at the top there and we've got a bunch of other animals and we're going to do like a, a food uh, network. So the lion eats baboons. So the arrows point to like baboon going into the lion's belly. The baboon eats caterpillars and the caterpillar eats trees. Uh, the baboon also eats beetles. The beetle eats, uh, the kudu eats beetles and the lion eats that. Uh, the kudu eats grass. The grass also gets eaten by wildebeest and wildebeest get eaten by lions. Um, and I'm going to finish off here. And uh, wildebeest also eat beetles. And I have a fantastic uh, food network. Now, this is a digraph. And you might think, well, what's the difference between this one and the other ones? There's direction involved. Baboons eat caterpillars, but caterpillars don't eat baboons. These arrows are new. This is the first network we've seen with an arrow. What does digraph stand for? It's a directed graph. Okay, so that's all. If the direction matters when it comes to this stuff, then we use a digraph. Now, if you were an ecologist studying African food networks, uh, you might not study the whole network. You might only be interested in some of the network. And in that case, you'll be considering what's called a subgraph. So uh, let's say that you're only interested in lions, wildebeest, grass, hakudus. Okay, so if I then draw that, um, just that portion of it, just that portion, grass goes to wildebeest, wildebeest goes to lion, grass goes to kudu, kudu goes to lion, that is a subgraph. Now, it's a subgraph, yes, it doesn't have everything from the original graph, just a small subsection of it. Now, if I were to add something extra to it, it would stop being a subgraph. So if I were to add a hippopotamus over here, and say that the hippopotamus, I don't know what hippopotamus is eat, but let's say it eats grass, uh, that's no longer a subgraph. Bam, bam, not a subgraph. Because I'm adding something to it, and we really don't want to add anything to it. So a subgraph has to look exactly the same. Maybe I don't add another animal. Maybe I say, well, lions sometimes eat grass. Well, I didn't add a vertex, I didn't add another animal, but I did add another edge. That is not a subgraph, not a subgraph. So we have to make sure that we can just pick this up and put it over here. Now you notice the shape that I drew it in is different to the shape that I drew it up here. We don't care about shapes. It doesn't matter where the dots are. It's just that the dots are connected in the same way as this. All right, so that's a subgraph. That's a, a directed graph. I think that's all I want to talk about.